Welcome to my AYF. For this demonstration, we're going to be using the roster CSV template to upload um, several of our players at once to the my AYF rostering system. First thing you'll need to do is to log on with the credentials of either your team contact or system uh, sorry, or conference contact. So we'll do that. Once you've done that, your member profile tab will have the rosters available to you. Clicking on rosters, you can select your team. The previous uh, demonstration, we were managing flag team one, so we'll continue with that one. Click manage team. If you do not see the link to manage team, you do not have the credentials to uh, manipulate the roster. So you need to contact your conference uh, contact and see about getting yourself added as the team contact. So here we go. Um, before we added it manually, now we're going to use the roster template to upload um, our players into our roster system. The first thing you need to do is start with the actual CSV template. And the link is right here. So when I click on that, it'll download it to my computer. And by default, it's going to open it with Excel. But it's important to realize that this is not an Excel file. It is a CSV or comma uh, separated value file that we need to maintain its format. So let's just either show it in our folder here. I can see it's downloaded right to my downloads. I'm going to open it. And again, it has a default player in there, John Smith. Um, and the different fields, of course, are jersey number, first name, last name, address, city, state, zip code, phone number, um, email, birth date, and whether they are older or lighter. Uh, we're going to leave John Smith in there, and I'm just going to add one more player. Uh, and his name is Jimmy Smith. And just tab to each different field. You can leave the default player in there just to give you a good guideline and then delete them once they're install, uh, uploaded. So uh, just follow along as it is. Uh, the birth date you do to make sure uh, you do have to make sure that the format is correct. So again, it's just slash between each of the uh, three fields. And finally, whether they are old or lighter, and uh, the default is no. Um, you can expand the fields if you just want to see better, uh, just to make sure that things are okay. It doesn't matter. But do not actually format the cells or else that will cause an error. So I'm going to save this uh, file, save, um, and do you want to keep the formatting? Yes. Now, if you're doing several of them, uh, you, you can save them as the individual file name, so I'll save this as, um, uh, put it into my same folder, and we'll call this one. Tigers, and we're going to maintain CSV common deleted, deleted format, hit save, say yes, and it's there. So now I have both both files, uh, both uh, the Tigers and um, uh, the, the default template. So once that's done, uh, we can now upload the roster. So simply choose the file, and we're going to go to our downloads directory, or wherever you saved it, and we'll select the Tigers, hit open and upload roster. Now we only have the default person as well as our new Jimmy, but make sure all fields are correct, hit confirm, and your players will be loaded into your roster. If at that point you need to get rid of your original or the, the default Jimmy Smith, you can simply click on delete and the player will be removed from your roster if you made any mistakes. Also if you've made a large error and the whole roster is messed up, you can just delete the current roster and begin again. I hope that helps.